hear what I hear. Welcome back to the guild, home to fans of Mashima's beautiful badass babes, dragons, and best girl Lucy Harphelia. You didn't think the romance would continue, did you? You thought it was wood god dragon battles from here on out. And the very last thing you expected of all things, of all things, a Groovia chapter. In what world do we just straight up get a Groovia chapter unannounced? No OVA. This is the actual story. I mean, considering the chapter opens up at a place called Rain Hill, we should have all guessed it, but come on, man. This is so great. <laughs> Those with me who have shipped Grey and Juvia since day one. Can I get some umbrellas in the chat right now? So after that fiasco with Natsu imagining Juvia naked, our favorite guild members hop off the train, and the very first Lady Grey stumbles upon in Rain Hill, who else would it be? Juvina. Juvia's counterpart from Fairy Nail. I'm just calling her Juvia because they're basically the same person. I swear, I thought that would only last a chapter. I am utterly baffled that Hito and Atsuo decided to continue this storyline of all things. So Other Continents Juvia comes up to Grey, looking mighty fine as our Juvia always has been, tells Grey to call her dearest, and says that she came to this town looking for a job which Grey remembers from last chapter. Her job is of course stripping. And while last time it was Natsu imagining Juvia topless, this time it's Grey imagining Juvia naked and then she offers to show Grey her tits. Again, you better be reading this manga because I promise you by the time that the anime comes around, all of this shit will be censored. <laughs> Which leads me to tell you that there is a huge fairy tale 50% off sale going on over at global.bookwalker.jp and if you use my code SOLANI, you get even more off. Plus, it's not just fairy tale. Eden Zero, Brave Master, Fairy Girls, any Hiro Mashima manga, 50% off right now on the site. Go check it out, link in the description and get the manga from the official publishers and distributors in Japan who are working with me to bring you guys this awesome manga. Support Hiro Mashima global.bookwalker.jp 10 year Kodansha special discount on all of your favorite Mashima manga, including Fairy Tale. Now, where were we? Oh yeah, Juvia then says that she's joking and she wouldn't even show Grey her body unless she was getting paid, which is hilarious. And then Grey just proceeds to classically strip in the middle of the street. And then I swear we were gonna focus on other characters. Stray away from this little groovina moment that we're having over here but nah dog. Juvina says Grey must be upset about so many other guys seeing the woman that he loves naked, to which he obviously is because he got upset at Natsu last chapter. But after sweating and lying and stumbling through the conversation, Grey says, Oh no, but our relationship just isn't like that. So Juvina grabs his hand to take him on a date, aka to show him how much he loves Juvia and that he should confess to her as soon as possible. Another chapter progressing our ships, ladies and gentlemen. What is happening right now? Is this really fairy tale? I don't remember the last time we had so much ship progression in a chapter, let alone two or three chapters. And by the way, can we just take a brief moment to appreciate this beautiful Juvia artwork by Atsuo? I mean, 
Seriously, he is killing it with this manga. I am blown away with how pretty this one shot is of Juvia. And next up, some panels of Grey and Juvina on a date, smiling at each other, chatting with each other. Then she lets him know how she feels about Grey's counterpart in Fairy Nail not confessing to her, and Grey apologizes basically on his behalf because he realizes he's doing the same thing to the real Juvia. And after Grey lets out how much he cares for Juvia, but how he's not good enough for her yet, other continent Juvia just takes her jacket completely off, providing Grey with a clear and flawless view of her pulvenant naked body, shocking the hell out of him. And she tells Grey it's on the house because remember she's a stripper, which is my favorite part of this chapter because she's actually not a topless dancer and that she's actually dating the other continent Grey already. She puts her finger to his lips and tells him to keep it between him and her. Is this not a little mature for fairy tale? Like what the hell? And okay, this is where I need you guys in the comments because I literally cannot remember. Has anything ever happened like this in fairy tale before? Like not because of torture or fighting or accidental fan service. Like has an FT girl ever willingly exposed herself to another character? Like with the purpose, with the intent of showing them their body? I think this might be a first for fairy tale. That's insane. Like Urza does it all the time, but that's just because she doesn't care. She's not trying to show anyone her body. <laughs> So that's crazy to think about. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's the first time in the fairy tale. And then after getting a clean look at her body, Grey imagines Juvia naked and remembers the scar on her stomach. Juvina tells him that Juvia won't wait forever and Grey decides to confess after he's built up his self-confidence. Okay, so last chapter, Levi and Gajiel are married, right? Is Grey actually gonna propose in this manga? Is it really finally happening? Let's go, man. Juvina flashing Grey even though she has a boyfriend? This is getting spicy, especially when we get back to Lucy complaining about Natsu burning all of her clothes off during that whole Juvina sequence. <laughs> I know, can't believe we didn't get to see that, but the best part is Wendy says Natsu was trying to get rid of guys hitting on Lucy, so he must have accidentally burned Lucy's clothes off while keeping her to himself. So even more Nalu progression this chapter, I'll take it. And finally, at the end of this chapter, Grey starts sweating and freaking out after his date with Juvina, because the real Juvia shows up. But is it really her? Because last I saw Juvia, she was passed out from Toka dying everyone white as she called it. So I'm pretty sure Toka has taken over Juvia's body and things are about to get real interesting since she apparently likes Natsu. Toka, of course. I don't know about you guys, but if Juvia starts hitting on Natsu in front of Grey when Grey's like about to confess to her, shit's about to go down. But it's okay, we all know that Natsu can't take his eyes off Lucy anyways. Let me know what you guys think is about to happen between Grey and Juvia in the comments because I think shit is about to get real crazy and I am all fired up. Don't forget if you want some fairy tale Hiro Mashima manga, use my code SOLANI over at global.bookwalker.jp. That link will be in the description along with my Instagram and Twitter as well as the guild Discord so come chat with us about fairy tale anime and whatever the hell you want. Thank you guys so much for watching as always and you better get on this ship because it is setting sail. Bye-bye.